Honda CB600F Hornet 2002 with 46,000 miles on the clock. Right, let's get in up close and personal. Um, on the front, it's got a virtually well, it is a brand new um, Dunlop Sports Max fitted. Um, the previous owner just had it done for the MOT, which has got a, a year on it. <coughs> um, this are all good, no lip in there whatsoever. It's uh, uh, an attestment to Honda build quality. I mean, 46,000 miles is uh, not a lot, but there is not the slightest bit of lip in there, so they're all excellent. Um, I know that it's got, again for the MOT, uh, new uh, brake pads um, both on both fronts and on the rear, so you've got new pads good all the way around. Obviously it's got a year's MOT, um, but stuff like that would have been checked. Fork seals, which are all good, no leak in there. <coughs> front guard's got a tiny little mark on this front edge here. Um, stepping up here to the headlamp, that's all good. No damage to that whatsoever. It's got this um, slight double bubble. It's a clear screen, but it is a double bubble aftermarket fitted onto it. Fairing is all good around here. Has got a, it looks like the tiniest. You could, it's, it, it's been touched in, so it look, it, it's been over at some stage, but if it had done a slightly better job there, it's, but there's a tiny mark on this leading edge there. The rest of the fairing is good. It's got these little mini indicators all the way around, front and back. Um, I now look for the uh, ends of the mirrors for any signs of slides. Some tiny marks there, usually from being pushed down the sides of uh, people's alleyways and houses, one thing or another. Front brake lever has got some uh, marks on it here. Not terrible, but they're there. Bar in weight is all good. <coughs> Sliding down here, um, the engine cover, this cover here has got some um, evidence of, you know, it's been dropped there. Again, it's not terrible, isn't leaking, but it is there. Other than that, it's all good. Around here, there's no damage. Um, rear brake lever, I'm looking in here, it's just knurled over on the end. So just commensurate with, so well, I would say this, the, the um, uh, engine cover and that top fairing right hand side. It's, it's been dropped at some stage, um, but it doesn't look horrendous. Probably just a car park jobby. Um, driver's peg is all good. Um, seat panel here on the right hand side, that's all good. Tank, that is all good. Got the, well, no, you can't, you wouldn't be able to pick it up on the camera, but tiny little mark on the tank there. Uh, seat is all good, there's no rips or tears in that. The uh, this rear half of the seat panel is all good again. If they go over badly, they take it along here, that it gets wiped out, as I'm sure you've seen. But that's all good. Also, if they go over terribly. This guard for the uh, silencer takes it, but it's all good. It's got some slight little marks here, but it's probably from luggage being thrown over it more than anything else. On the back, it's got a, a fairly recent, I wouldn't say it was new, but it ain't been on there very long. It's got a Pirelli Diablo there, I mentioned before. New brake pads in the rear. One thing I forgot to mention is these uh, braided hoses it's got on the rear and up at the front fitted. Um, so we'll have no problems in the future there with expanding hoses. Going around to this side. Chain and sprockets, they're all good. No money to be spent there, no problems. Uh, left hand side of this rear seat panel, again, it's got some marks going in this direction. Probably from luggage or someone with studied jeans I would say more it's not accident damage because it'd be going that way this side of the seat you can see is free from damage as is this uh, left hand panel there drivers left hand peg and gear lever on this side they're all fine tank it's got this uh, zip protector on it 
that's all good, no damage. Left hand, bar end weight, clutch lever and mirror, all free from any slide damage. And the top front left, the fairing, as the rest of the fairing is all good. Apart from that tiny little mark I mentioned on the other side. Engine cover, that's all good. No signs of any slides there. And then back round to this side of the front wheel. Again, disc is all good. No wear in that whatsoever. I'll come up here and start it up. Starts and runs and sounds just like the Honda horn it should. I mean, you don't get no problems with these engines. Scared unlucky to ever buy a bad one. There it is, sounds just like a Honda sewing machine. So, there we are. Honda Hornet 6, 2002.